In this episode, a chair's arm falls off, but it gets it back again. And it gets refinished. And this is what the chair looked like to start with. It doesn't look too bad from a distance, but when you get up close, you can see that the finish is in pretty bad shape and it's entirely missing from some places. First step was to take the seat off. And the gum. And here are some loose joints on the legs. Those will need to be re-glued. And then there's also a loose joint on one of the arms. This is the front end of the arm where it attaches to the leg. And that was pretty easy to get off. I just took that one end off and left it hanging there. Next, I got the rubber mallet out and gave a few blows to the leg, tried to separate that, but it was on there pretty tight. And that's when the arm fell off. So it turns out that the other end of the arm was cracked, which I didn't know, which is, and that's why it fell off once I started banging on it. But thankfully, it was actually a pretty clean break. And although it may look bad, it's going to go back together really easily with glue, which you'll see later. And then I went back to trying to get the legs off, but they were barely moving. And that's when I realized that they were screwed on. And here's the screw. It's hidden by a plug. So I had to drill out that plug to get the screws out. And first, I just punched a small hole just for a guide for the drill bit. And I started with a small drill bit and just worked my way up to bigger bits. And then I used a chisel and various other sharp instruments to remove whatever was left of the plug. And I just kind of chipped out the pieces. And then took out the screw. And with the screw out, the legs came right off. And once they were off, I cleaned off the old glue, whatever was left of it, put in some new glue, and put them back together. And here it is all clamped up. And after the leg joints were dry, I took the clamps off, and it was time to reattach the arm. And I just put in plenty of glue in all the joints and kind of wrestled it into place. And then put some clamps on and some really little clamps for this little piece here. And I let that dry overnight, then took the clamps off and it was time for stripping. And here I'm using citrus strip, applying it liberally and scraping it off. And once I had most of the stripper off, then I got some 4 aught steel wool and mineral spirits and just gave it a wipe down, try to get off any residual stripper goop. And here it is after it's dried, and this is that spot where the arm broke and was re-glued. And I'm just scraping the joint a bit with a utility knife blade just to even it out, and then a little sandpaper to smooth it out. And it looks great. You can barely notice it's there. And then I had to put new plugs in, a little glue and a plug, and then hammer it down as flush as I can get it. And then I had to use a chisel to chisel the rest of it flush with the leg. And later on, I stained it with some stain so it matched the rest of the walnut.
Here I'm applying the stain, and this is Varathane American Walnut Oil Stain. Just wiping it on and then wiping it off. I didn't let it sit on there for very long at all. And once the stain was dry, I applied the top coat, which is Minwax Wipe-On Polyurethane in Satin. The finishing touch was to clean up these brass um, slippers at the bottom of the legs. And I just used here some really old, well-used 320 grit sandpaper, so probably 400 grit would work also. And tried to get off uh, most of the dirt and marks that were on it. And then here I'm using Flitz metal polish and some 4 aught steel wool to polish it up a bit. And it came out nice. And I should add that there was originally lacquer on these. Uh, usually from the factory they would lacquer them, probably to keep them from tarnishing. And that got stripped off when I stripped the rest of the frame. And you could put lacquer back on after you polish it up. I chose not to, but you could. And the seat goes back on. Here's the finished product. Uh, the upholstery was in really good shape. I just cleaned it. And there it is. That's the joint where the arm broke. Came out really nice. Thanks for watching.